Good morning. Um, I said that I would uh, bring my Jack Boyer, uh, the lovely new little uh, mini, I think it's the mini man. Yeah, mini mini man it is. Uh, I said I'd bring my little Jack Boyer out on my travels. And uh, probably a lot of you don't know, but I'm an actual BMS engineer or controls or automation engineer, depending where you are in the world and how you call that title. Um, and I'm here looking at a, a train system today, um, which obviously has no panel, has no drawings. Um, we're identifying what circuits are connected in the field um, because they're fitting two new chillers, or three new chillers, sorry, and two new pumps. Um, they had three pumps and three chillers, they've now got two pumps and three chillers. Um, so and the new pumps are going to be speed control. Uh, but anyway, I've got the jet board out. Uh, I've been at it since eight this morning, so I'm going to make myself a little brew and um, obviously take some advice from jet board and uh, fire up the stove without the pot on. Um, obviously, this is one of the things they recommended, and that's what I shall do. So, um, obviously, get the, the stove up onto the gas. Still haven't managed to get hold of any uh, jet boiled gas. Um, seems to be a bit scarce in the shops at the moment. So I'm still using the Extreme 2 from uh, Coleman. Um, it's pretty cold here in, in Birmingham. It was minus six last night. In this plant room, it's probably about five or six degrees. The outside is a bit cooler. Um, but the Extreme um, from Coleman works equally as well as the, the jet boil. Um, so there we go. Nice little flame going, as you can see. Get a little bit of water. Oh, got the side box. Don't know if you can see that on camera. Put my little jet wash sticker on there. So I have a little uh, dewater box set up as a, a stool when I'm on the site. Um, but I also have it as, um, you know, to keep all my goodies. Um, I carry a lot of these uh, adventure foods. Pasta, so uh, lots of different meals, e even porridge. So we keep a little box full of meals, and um, what do I have to do? Water. water to make a coffee to warm up the old cockles because it's a bit cold outside. So uh, that seemed to work a lot better. Don't get the the the, the massive. Um, Water gas that Jet Boyle advised on, on the post on uh, YouTube, so just kind of getting a bit of water in for a coffee. Um, let my flask go away. It's one of those chili bottles, but it's about a litre and a half. Absolutely lovely thing. If you put some ice in here in the, in the summer, it keeps it nice and cold, or if you put anything hot, it'll keep it warm for a long, long time. <coughs> But uh, obviously, chip off, it's nice and warm on the hands when you're cold. So there we go now. Let's uh, kind of get this in play. Right, she's locked in place. And what did I do with that there today? Pop the lid on. So, uh, coffee's on the go. I've got a spoon today, unfortunately, so uh, I'm going to just use um, a bit of a visual measurement, as they say. So, a little bit of sugar, got some little uh, Nargene bottles, I think they're called. I think it's the make, food grade, uh, with a little clip on it. And a little bit of coffee, or coffee, as you say in America. I think I said pronounce it when I was over there. Yep, that should do. And uh, I'm using today uh, a very nice cup from Klein. Uh, not sure if you can see that on camera, but uh, obviously they do a lovely little uh, Klein tools it is. Uh, let's see. Is this one pronouncing it right? There we go. If 
fix to that climb tools. They, they, they make a nice little um, travel mug, got a little magnet on the end, so if you're in a panel like I am, which is metal, it'll stop your mug tipping over and pouring inside the panel. Um, and we need a bit of milk. I'm sure if everybody takes the coffee differently, I like it all three. Bit of milk, bit of sugar and bit of coffee. Uh, that should do. And uh, this little flask is from Starbucks. So we've got uh, water on the boil. Haven't got it on too fast because it's running next to my laptop and I've got a meeting in about two minutes. So I don't want to kind of ruin the laptop before the meeting. But uh, as you can see, we've got a bit of steam starting to come out. And uh, that was, what, two, three minutes uh, since we started this. Um, and uh, yeah, jet boil on the go. So uh, I'm gonna say uh, goodbye to you guys now. And uh, before I go, I'll just pour the coffee so that we've got, I think that's been warm enough for me today. Uh, nice and steamy, as you can see. I do like these little handles on the back, it makes it a little bit easier. The little cloth one wasn't so great. Nice bit of steaming hot water. Nice cup of brew, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And um, as I haven't got a spoon, I'll give it a good shake. Make sure the lid's on. So, a couple of turns. And we've stirred it up rather than uh, using a spoon. So then, um, I wish you guys a, a good day. Uh, thank you for following. If you do follow, uh, perhaps give me a thumbs up and perhaps subscribe. Uh, I'd like to make more of these videos and uh, show you some of my travels and some of the things I get up to. Uh, I'm sure it's quite interesting for some of you that are controls engineers. Uh, you may have some questions about that. Um, or you just may have some questions about the jet boil, uh, which is what this was meant to be all about. Anyway, have a good day, and I'll see you soon.